SpaceX is ramping up its Starship spacecraft project, according to CEO Elon Musk. SpaceX is developing the Starship and its super heavy rocket for deep space missions to the Moon and Mars. He revealed in a series of tweets, SpaceX's test of the hexagonal heat shield tiles that will protect its Starship spaceship when it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Today we'll be taking a look at this new Starship design that changes everything. Our minds are blown away by the world's tallest and most powerful rocket ever to be made. So make sure to stay till the end of the video to find out more. Elon Musk hopes to use the Starship to help SpaceX visit other planets one day. On the 11th anniversary of their first successful orbital launch, the Falcon 1, he laid out his plan for interplanetary travel, all the while standing behind a towering Starship MK-1, a prototype for the company's actual reusable launch vehicle at the company's South Texas test site. According to him, the new Starship and its Super Heavy rocket will be capable of transporting up to 100 passengers to the Moon, Mars, or other locations in space or around Earth. Since its inception in 2002, Musk has stated that the primary purpose of SpaceX has been to assist humanity in becoming a multi-planetary species. The Starship will be 387 feet tall, totally reusable, and have rapid turnaround times. In the 2020s, this rocket will take Yusaku Miyazawa, a Japanese millionaire, and a group of artists on a voyage around the moon. When SpaceX first announced in 2018 a scheduled space tourist trip, they didn't say how much Miyazawa paid though. SpaceX has created reusable Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets and reusable Dragon cargo capsules and a new crew Dragon ship for astronauts. The company has launch pads in Florida, California, and most recently, Boca Chica, where it broke ground on its test site in 2014. But as Musk has stated, Mars remains the primary goal. In September of 2016, Musk initially revealed the Starship concept to the world at the International Astronautical Union meeting in Mexico. Although it didn't have a specific name back then, it was called the Interplanetary Transport System, or the ITS for short, for Mars colonization. When completed, the ITS would call for a fully reusable spaceship with two fins and a launcher that would stand 400 feet tall. The first stage would include 42 Raptor engines from the next generation, and the booster would be 40 feet wide. There would be nine Raptors on the spacecraft. The first stage of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets has nine Merlin engines. The early stages of the Falcon Heavy include 27 Merlins. In 2017, Musk revised the design and dubbed it the Big Falcon Rocket, or BFR for short. The launch mechanism would be 348 feet tall and 30 feet wide according to the plan. The spaceship atop it would have six Raptor engines while the booster would have 31. Then, in 2018, Musk revealed yet another design, a sleek stainless steel spacecraft with three tail fins that would be 387 feet, taller than its 2017 predecessor. Six Raptor engines would still power the ship, with up to 37 Raptors powering the rocket, now called the Super Heavy. According to Musk, the switch from a lightweight but pricey carbon fiber composite material to 301 stainless steel was a watershed moment. Steel becomes stronger as it cools, making it ideal for trips to the frigid depths of space, in addition, it has a greater melting point, allowing it to withstand the scorching re-entry through Earth's atmosphere. It's also a lot less expensive, costing roughly 2% of the price of carbon fiber. During three years, the idea went through a kind of rocket metamorphosis, but the most recent design has remained unchanged to this day. SpaceX is still aiming for a 387-foot-tall Starship Super Heavy stack with six Raptors on board. The number of engines on the Super Heavy could vary from mission to mission, though. Musk said the rocket could hold up to 37 Raptors, but each task will likely need at least 24. SpaceX never stops. At the same time, they are putting together gear and producing hundreds of Raptor engines for Starship's first orbital test flight. They're simultaneously planning for what's next. Everyone wants to know what goes on behind closed doors. In June of 2021, a local photographer captured one of the thousands of deliveries that arrives at SpaceX's Boca Chica Starship factory every month. The remarkable photographs show package markings referencing a heat shield and a mini bakery. If it hadn't been for the fact that it was carrying the next batch of ceramic heat shield tiles that the SpaceX manufactures in the Cocoa Beach in Cape Canaveral, Florida, it would have just been another plain delivery. However, as the photographer pointed out, the SpaceX team that oversees the Florida Starship Thermal Shield Factory refers to it as the Bakery. This is one of the two main Florida-based facilities charged with converting raw materials into the black hexagonal heat shield tiles that have begun to spread across the exteriors of Starship prototypes, as the term suggests. The delivery of a mini bakery on June 7th strongly indicates that SpaceX has started to build out some of the limited capacity for heat shield tile production at Boca Chica itself. In other words, under the main Starship factory roof. 
While the number of tiles on board has only recently started to increase, SpaceX has been developing, testing, and refining Starship's heat shield technology for more than two years. In July and August of 2019, SpaceX's custom-built ceramic tiles made their first public appearances, first launching into orbit on a Cargo Dragon spacecraft, and then tagging along on a Starhopper's stunning 150-meter jump a few weeks later. About a month later, Dragon re-entered the atmosphere and splashed down in the Pacific Ocean effectively without any incidents. This marked the first successful orbital re-entry of a Starship heat shield. In the last few months of 2020, SpaceX began to significantly expand the number of tiles put on Starships, going from a handful to hundreds in a matter of months. The Starship SN16 was equipped with over a thousand tiles, but the successful launch and landing of Starship SN15 on May 5th of 2021 means it will probably never fly. SpaceX has begun large-scale Starship heat shield installation tests with the help of robots sent last month. This indicates that the corporation is already planning for the rocket's first orbital flight test campaign. Starship is a fully reusable two-stage rocket powered by methane and oxygen-fueled Raptor engines that will eventually replace SpaceX's mainstay Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles. Starship's first stage, dubbed the Super Heavy, will launch the combined spacecraft and upper stage to an altitude of 70 to 100 kilometers with a velocity of 2.5 to 3 kilometers per second, similar to Falcon 9. Super Heavy will split up, accelerate back to the surface, and land on the launch pad or a floating platform. Thanks to Falcon 9 and Heavy, which have made 57 landings and been reused 39 times in less than 5 years, SpaceX already has a lot of expertise in launching, landing, and reusing orbital class rocket boosters. The upper stage of the Starship, on the other hand, will have to withstand orbital velocity atmospheric re-entries that are 3 to 5 times quicker and more energetic than Super Heavy rockets. SpaceX will have to design an effective heat shield that's easier to install, maintain, and reuse than anything that has come before while keeping Starship cost and complexity low and reusability high. As with all SpaceX projects, the corporation started developing the Starship heat shield as soon as possible, deploying a few tiles on the Starhopper as early as H1 in 2019. Throughout 2020, small hexagonal tile installation tests were conducted on Starships SN1, SN3, SN4, SN5, and SN6. Even though those coupon tests did not entail orbital class re-entry, heating, or buffeting, they were still important in determining the mechanical behavior of heat shield tiles under the stress of cryogenic propellant loading, Raptor static burns, and hop testing. On an orbital cargo dragon flight for NASA in 2019, SpaceX even tested a few ceramic Starship heat shield tiles. The absence of any more orbital cargo or crew dragon testing suggests that the demonstration was a success, demonstrating that the tiles can withstand the rigorous re-entry from low Earth orbit, or LEO. SpaceX is undoubtedly conducting significant laboratory-style testing with tiles behind the scenes. An agreement struck with NASA Ames Research Center disclosed that the business physically uses the facility's ArcJet to replace orbital velocity re-entry conditions. However, tests on the magnitude of a whole starship are a completely different story. On July 9th, the local citizen and photographer Andrew Ghost captured photographs of a test coupon covering half of an entire steel starship ring, signaling the start of a large-scale heat shield installation testing. Elon Musk revealed in Twitter of April 2020 that the current concept entailed affixing heat shield tiles directly to the steel hull of the starship with steel studs. In retrospect, robots might be ideal for installing thousands of heat shield tiles in a single starship at low low cost and high volume. Multiple separate Starship components might be individually furnished with studs and heat shield tiles by robots examined by humans, and then linked together to make an entire Starship once tolerances are high enough. Humans would most likely have to manually install a gap of tiles around the weld lines of those last proportions. Still, the manual installation effort would be kept to a bare minimum. In the end, there's still a lot of work to be done before SpaceX can even consider orbital Starship test flights but it's hard not to be encouraged by the fact that some of that work has already begun in South Texas. With that, we've come to an end. Comment in the section below what you think about the new Starship design. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. See you in the next video.